Hello everyone, today we are going to study chapter number 5th, Fractions, practice set number 19 we are going to complete in today's video. So in today's video, we are going to learn about the symbols that is greater, smaller or equal to in order to show that which fraction is greater, smaller or which fractions are equal. Okay, so this exercise is very easy children, we will make it even more easier. So see, 3 upon 7 is the first question. Or the first fraction that has been given. Okay. So we have to show whether it is greater, smaller or equal to. Now you will see both the terms that is numerator and denominators are same. That means obviously it is going to be equal. Got it? It's very easy. Now the second sum is 3 upon 8 and 2 upon 8. Okay. So over here the denominators are equal. Okay. So we have to find whether this is greater or this is greater the numerators are different so what we have to do is we have to find which numerator is greater which is the greater 3 is greater so the sign is going to be the greater sign will come over here directly okay we need, need not solve it it is understood when the numerator and denominator is same we have to put equal to sign when the denominators are same but the numerators are different you all have to check which is the bigger numerator okay it's very simple third one is 2 upon 11 and 10 upon 11 so again the denominators are same but the numerators are different so which one is the greater numerator 10 so you all have to show the greater sign over here on the second fraction now the fourth sum is 5 upon 15 and 10 upon 30 okay so you all have to show it over here the denominators are different the numerators are different everything is di different okay so we have learned how to equalize it the denominator so how we will keep this equation as it is 5 and 15 if we multiply it with 2 then we are going to get 30 so same number we will multiply it with 2 over here and this we will keep it as it is okay we will put a comma over here for us to explain so 5 twos are 10 and 15 twos are 30 and over here this equation so try to solve the equation in this pattern children so that when you get the answer it is easy for you all to check okay now you all have put is equal to sign because the numerators are same the denominators are also same so that means these two equations are equal the two fractions are equal not equation the fractions are equal now let's solve one more sum so that it will be more clear 5 upon 8 and 5 upon 9 now you will see both the numerators and denominators are different from both the sides so what we will do we will equalize it okay equivalent fraction we will make so first we will convert it that is multiplying 8 with 9 and 9 with 8 so 5 into 9 8 into 9 comma we will put 5 into 8 and 9 into 8 okay so 5 nines are 45 8 nines are 72 okay and from here 5 eights are 40 and 9 eights are 72 now which one is greater obviously this side is greater because 45 is greater so this e this fraction is going to be greater same sign you all have to add it above also that means you are going you are solving also and you are making the greater and smaller signs also symbols also you all are showing so it is very easy to show it in this pattern okay let's solve the sixth sum 4 upon 7 and 4 upon 11. Okay, now we will equalize the denominators first. So 4 we will multiply it with 11 because 7 we are multiplying it with 11. And why we are multiplying it? This explanation I have given in the previous exercise also children. You all can watch it over there. The link will be provided in the description box. Alright, and over here 4 multiplied with 7, 11 multiplied with 7. So 4 11s are 44, 7 11s are 77, 4 7s are 28, 
isn't it? 4 7s are 28 and 11 7s are 77. So which one is greater? 44 is greater. So this side we have to show the symbol that is greater is 44 upon 77 fraction is greater. Now 7th sum 10 upon 11 and 10 upon 13. So let's equalize the denominator. 11 into 13 and 10 into 11 and 13 into 11. Okay, now don't get confused. We will multiply it first so that we will get the answer. Okay, because we don't know what is 11 into 13 and 13 into 11. If you all know the table, it's well and good. But many of you all are not going to know it. So what we are going to do. So first 10 into 13 means 130. Okay, and 10 into 11 means 110. Got it. So this though we know. Denominators we are knowing it. But we are not knowing it. The denominator. So 11 into 13. 3 ones are 3. 3 ones are 3. Multiply it just below. 1 ones are 1. 1 ones are 1. 3, 4, 1. So 143 and 143. Same answer is going to come for the denominators. Because 11 13 are 143. And 13 11 are is also 143. Okay. Now you all have to see which number is greater. The numerator ones. The 130 is greater. So make this sign. That means this side is greater. Okay. So when you solve it in this pattern children. It becomes for easy for you all to do these markings. Okay. This side means this equation. This fraction is greater. Got it. Now let's solve the 8th one. So that it will be more clear. 8th is 1 upon 5. And 1 upon 9. Okay. Smaller numbers are there. So first we will equalize the denominator by multiplying it with a 9 and this side we will multiply it with 5 so 9 5s are 1 9s are 9 5 9s are 45 1 5s are 5 9 5s are 45 which numerator is greater 9 is greater so we will do the marking that means this type this fraction is greater okay not this one now the ninth sum is 5 upon 6 and 1 upon 8. So 5 into 8 and 6 into 8. On this side 1 into 6 and 8 into 6. This we have multiplied it with each other. So 5 eights are 40. 6 eights are 48. 1 6 are 6. 8 6 are 48. Okay, now the denominators are equal. We are ready for the greater or smaller sign you all have to put. Now, which one, which numerator is greater? Obviously, this 40 is greater. That means this fraction is greater. That means this side is greater. Now, the 10th sum. 10th sum is 7 upon 8 and 14 upon 16. Okay, now... You all will wonder what we have to do. Okay, so see, in 16 stable, 8 will not come, but in 8 stable, 16 is coming. So 7, and what number you all have to multiply in order to get 16? 8, 2s are 16. So same number, multiply it over here. Let's keep this fraction as it is. So 7, 2s are 14, 8, 2s are 16, 14. And 16 same equation we will put it down now you will see everything is same numerator and denominator that means this fraction is equal so put an e is equal to sign now 11th sum is 7 upon sorry children this was 11th sum and I did it uh, I will do the 10th sum over here because by mistake I have written the 11th sum first. So 5 upon 12 and 1 upon 6. Now in 12 stable 6 will not come but in 6 stable 12 will come. So what we will do we will keep this fraction as it is and we will multiply 6 with 2 to get 12. Same number multiply it with the numerator. We will keep this fraction as it is. So 1 2s are 2. And 6 2s are 12. So which number is greater? This one is greater. So put the greater sign from this side. Now we will do the 12th sum. 
फोर अपॉन नाइन एंड फोर अपॉन नाइन न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर्स बोथ आर सेम सो इट इज वेरी इजी बोथ द फ्रैक्शन आर इक्वल थर्टीन सम फाइव अपॉन एटीन एंड वन अपॉन नाइन सो इन एटीन स्टेबल वी विल नॉट गेट नाइन बट इन नाइन स्टेबल वी विल गेट एटीन बाय मल्टीप्लाइंग इट विथ टू ओके नाइन टू जार एटीन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू इक्वलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर वी विल कीप दिस फ्रैक्शन एज इट इज वन टू जार टू नाइन टू जार एटीन विथ साइड इज ग्रेटर फाइव वाला साइड इज ग्रेटर सो वी विल पुट दिस साइन ओवर यो ऑल राइट नाउ द फोर्टीन सम इज टू अपॉन थ्री एंड फोर अपॉन सेवन ओके नाउ इन थ्री स्टेबल सेवन विल नॉट कम एंड सेवन स्टेबल थ्री विल नॉट कम सो वी विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ ईच अदर सो टू इंटू सेवन थ्री इंटू सेवन over here we will multiply it with 3 7 into 3 got it 7 twos are 14 3 sevens are 21 4 threes are 12 7 threes are 21 we have equalized the denominator which numerator is greater this one 14 is greater so 14 that means this side is going to be greater okay children try to do in this pattern only because if it will get confused if you are doing it separately so if you all do it in this pattern it is going to be very easy for you all to understand now the 15th one is 3 upon 7 and 5 upon 9 so in 7 stable 9 will not come and 9 stable 7 will not come so multiply the numbers with each other so 5 into 7, 9 into 7. Three nines are 27. Seven nines are 63. Five sevens are 45. Nine sevens are 63. Which fraction is greater? 45 वाला fraction is greater, isn't it? So 45. That means this side. Let's move on to the last sum of this exercise. That is 4 upon 11 and 1 upon 5. ओके सो अगेन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई ईच अदर लेवन इंटू फाइव वन इंटू लेवन एंड फाइव इंटू लेवन ओके फोर फाइव जार और फाइव फोर जार ट्वेंटी एंड लेवन फाइव जार फिफ्टी फाइव वन इंटू लेवन इज लेवन एंड फाइव लेवन आर फिफ्टी फाइव Which side is greater? Twenty wala side is greater. So we will put this sign over here. Same sign we will put it over here also. I hope this exercise is clear to everyone, children. If you all find anything difficult, please let me know in the comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.